Let's fix Discord error no root on Windows 10. In the first step, click on search, type cmd. From the search results, right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Then select S and it will open command prompt window. Just type cls to clear screen. The commands are little lengthier. So I have made it really simple for you. I have created a list. We will copy and paste them from there. So let's quickly open Chrome browser to open list of commands. Now search for house.tech windows commands. You might be surprised how my Chrome is looking so attractive. So the reason is I was actually bored with the normal white Chrome theme. So I installed this extension on my Chrome called AnimSearch. If you also want to make your computer a masterpiece, then I am putting the link in the description. Click on first link which is from house.tech. You should see commands on the top. Click on that. This is the place where we add necessary commands for the fixes we need. Now we need to reset IP address using command number 70. Copy it. Go back to command prompt. Right click to paste it. Hit enter and execute the command. Type cls. Now let's execute flush dns command which is command number 5. Execute it. Now we will renew the connection using command number 4. Copy and execute it. We also need to reset socket connection. So execute command number 16 to that. Now keep the list open and move to the next step. Go to search bar and type control panel. From the search result, click here to open it. Then select network and internet. Now click on network and sharing center. Now click on change adapter settings. Right click on ethernet and select properties. On this window, just select IPv4 and click on properties. Then check this option and type this DNS server 8.8.8.8 then 8.4.4.8 now check this option and click on ok now close this wait for some time it will try to detect the problems now close this window and close all windows one by one now from the list copy this command to scan all the issues which is command number 11 Go back to command prompt and paste the command. Use right click to paste it and hit enter. This takes some time to complete the process. Now just type cls and open the list again. Now copy command number 12 and execute it. Similarly execute command number 13. Now execute asop command which is number 14 which will refresh the association between the libraries. Now we will check and fix all the disk errors using command number 15. Copy it and execute it. That's it guys your problem will be solved you are good to go.